everybody. Welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Today we are making Ella's Chrome Wheel. Ella is one of our team of testers and she designed this square for us. Um, we do have the bullion stitch in the centre. There are 12 bullion stitches. Um, I will show you how to do that. And there is a link below um, to my um, how-to um, tutorial on bullion stitches showing you uh, about four different methods of how to make those stitches. So if you're not sure, go and have a look at that and then come back and um, have a go or just watch how I do it now and, um, and have a go. Um, the best way is to just jump straight in and have a go and just keep trying. Um, people have really, really surprised themselves at how quickly they've picked up doing the bullion stitch. Um, but there is an alternative, um, which I will tell you. If you've really tried and you just can't get a grip of it, then um, I will I will give you an idea of what you can do instead. So don't think, ah, bullions and switch off. Um, I will give you an alternative. Okay, so... Um, four colours are suggested in the pattern. I've only used three here, um, but I'm probably going to use four in the one that I'm going to make with you now. So anyway, um, yeah, grab your things and um, let's get started. Okay, so I've got my slip knot and then you can either use a magic ring or a um, chain circle. Now, I suggest that the pattern does say to use either but if you pull it this square if you pull it in too much it just bunches so I would suggest that you go with um, doing a chain um, first. So a chain of six, three, four, five, six and then slip stitch into your first chain just doing this today because we actually don't show you this very often so um, I thought it might be helpful for you to see so <clears throat> excuse me so we're going to chain one which doesn't count as anything just gets us started and then you're going to do 12 single crochet into your ring one two three eleven twelve 12 single crochets and then you want to slip stitch into your first single crochet and not your chain so it might be worth counting back 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 slip stitch into there and this forms the base and foundation for our bullion stitches okay now I just need to grab my hook Okay, so I've just grabbed um, two other hooks. I'm going to do our bullion stitches now. And um, the way that I prefer is to use um, a slightly smaller hook. So I've been using a four and a half millimeter hook for my normal um, stitches. So I've moved to a three and a half millimeter. And then this one is a two and a half millimeter. So that makes, what, five millimeters? So it's only half a millimeter bigger than um, my original hook. Okay, so that's why I've moved down, because if I put this with that hook, it's going to make it a lot, lot bigger. And um, you can see from here, they're already, you know, they've got quite a quite um, a size to them already. So, um, what I do is I pop that hook out, and then I use this hook as my regular hook. This is the um, three and a half millimetre. Um, as I said, there are several ways you can do the bullion stitch, and there is a link just below um, in that description, um, there is a link to that how-to um, when I show you several methods. Okay, this um, tiny two and a half millimetre hook, um, I turn upside down, okay? And I pop that next to my hook, okay? But first of all, actually, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. First of all, you're going to chain three. One, two, three, okay? And then I'm going to pop this on here. We're doing 10 yarn over bullion. So we need to pop the yarn over 10 times. So one, two, three. Or you can do this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you might read in some descriptions of doing bullions that you need to yarn over loosely. But if you're doing it this method and using another implement, 
implement um, sounds like Pluto. If you're using another um, tool, then you don't need to do it as loosely because if you can see here, there's already a gap in here. You can see my table through here. So there's already a gap making it looser. Okay, so let's, um, we've got our 10 yarn overs there. I'm just going to pull this down slightly and you're going to go into the same stitch that you did that chain three from. It actually will be your um, first single crochet there. So you're going to do a yarn over and pull through that stitch, leaving it on this bottom hook. Slide this top one over so this loop is there underneath. Pull it up slightly so you've got a bit of length here. And then, this is the magic part, just hold on to your loops and just slide off of your hook. Bring that up. You pop this one down and then you see you've got one loop left or two loops but you need to just then bring that last loop over and that is your bullion stitch completed and then we're just going to do a chain of two okay grab your um, hook your upside down hook do ten yarn overs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then slide that down slightly, pop it into your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, just over um, my red hook there, just over the bottom hook and pull through. Trap that in between there, just put it up slightly because this is what all your loops will go around so you need a bit of height there. Try and make sure your bullions are roughly the same height. Slip these off there. I've just lost a yarn from this one here, so I'm just going to pop that thread back on there. Okay, so make sure they're roughly the same height. Pull that last loop through, and then chain two. One, two, and there is your second bullion. So you're going to do this in every stitch until you have 12 bullions with two chains in between. Okay, so just rewind a few minutes. Um, if you need a reminder of how to do that and um, I will see you 12 billions later what if you aren't sure about billions if you've tried and tried and can't do it then I would suggest that to get your height and your puffiness that you maybe do a double crochet two together in your stitch so do your chain three to start and then just grab my hook here, Oops, the four and a half, here we go, and then you double crochet uh, in the same stitch, so in one stitch and just do your first um, pull through and then another double crochet in the same stitch, oops, pull through and then pull through two there, and that just gives you a slightly puffier stitch, but you've only got one stitch at the top there, okay, so it gives you roughly the same height, um, but like I said only one there or you could do a treble crochet um, two together but in the same stitch okay so um, do 12 bullions or do 12 of these it's entirely up to you um, and I'll see you when you have 12 stitches if you are doing your two double crochets, um, don't forget to do your chain two in between your um, sets of double crochets to give you these gaps. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, to give you these gaps around. Okay, so I have now done twelve bullion stitches, and you are going to join into the top of your bullion. So just um, go under a chain that's nearby. Go under that first chain there and do your slip stitch. There we go. Now I'm going to fasten this off and um, join a new colour in. And your new colour is going to be joined. It will be joined into any of these chain two spaces. If you're keeping the same colour, then just from here, do a slip stitch over into your chain space. So I'm just going to join in this chain space. Next two. Okay. 
Okay, so just joining with a slip stitch. There we go. And in this space, sorry, just putting my tail down there. In this space, you're going to do a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And then you're going to do four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. We're making these kind of fan shapes here. So four double crochets, and then in the next uh, chain space, we're going to do a single crochet. Just make sure you don't go this side of these um, yarns. Each bullion has a yarn, which are mostly at the back when you're done. Um, but just make sure you don't put your hook in this space here. Go in your actual space here. So a single crochet, and then in the next, you're going to do five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. In the next, do a single crochet, and then in the next, five double crochet, and work all the way around doing five double crochet, single crochet, five double crochet, single crochet. And when you get back around to here, you're going to join in your top chain of your starting three chain. And there we go. That's the end of round three. And it's looking rather nice now. You've got these um, six fan shapes here. Talking of fan, I don't know if you can hear something in the background. It's my fan, fan on. Um, it's rather warm here. Um, now, from here on in, all the future rounds, you, um, I would suggest that you crochet a little looser than you usually do, um, because <laughs> this was my practice. Um, I usually have a go at doing these squares before I come to do the video so that I have an idea of what I'm doing. Um, this was my first attempt, and um, as you can see, it's rather rather domed or 3d as my husband says or someone else said it looks a bit like a hat um yeah i was a bit tired when i did this so um, i'm going to use that as my excuse and i think um so we've just done this round here this um pale green and um, that's what we've just done here um, and I think from there I got a bit tighter on this dark green round so i'm going to suggest that you um crochet more loosely look, it's like a spring um we'll just call that uh you know let's not talk about it anymore <laughs> um if you see this one here this is laying a lot flatter um and i did crochet a lot more loosely than i normally would so that's what i would suggest to you just crochet a bit more loosely um it still needs a bit of blocking but just you know don't be too tight on it so for round four chain one and then you are going to do a single crochet in that same space which is where your chain the stop of your chain and move those scissors out of the way um sorry and then you're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch and then in the next stitch you're going to do a double crochet chain two and a double crochet in the same stitch and then in the next stitch a half double crochet and then a single crochet in the next and then you're going to do a chain one and skip this single crochet here the one in between your bullions um so do a reasonable length chain don't do a tiny chain do a reasonable length because it needs to move over and this is where it can start to bunch up okay so we're going to skip this so you've got your good length chain and then in the next single crochet here do a single crochet okay so we've moved over the top of this one okay and then we're going to do a half double crochet in the next and in the next one we're going to do double crochet chain two double crochet half double crochet in the next and a single crochet in the next and then another good length chain skip your single crochet down here 
and do a single crochet in the next stitch and then a half double crochet and a double chain two and another double in the same stitch and a half double crochet in the next and a single crochet in the next and you're going to repeat this on your last three petals make sure you do your chain first and then your single half double and then your double crochet chain two double crochet then a half double and a single and when you come back around here you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first single crochet not your chain but your single crochet and I'll see you when I've done these three okay so this is what I have now so it's like a um, hexagon is it a hexagon yes <laughs> Okay, um, it's time to change colour, if you are changing colour, and um, so I've fastened off my green and I've joined my lavender colour into a chain 2 space, so between two of those double crochets. Now if you're sticking with the same colour, you could slip stitch across, this is where I fastened off, you could slip stitch across to your chain 2 space. But you are going to be uh, crocheting into the top of these stitches here. So if you're going to do a slip stitch, don't do it too tightly because you need to get under it um, in this round. Or you could fasten off and then rejoin in a chain two space. Okay. So I have joined a new colour in. And now we are going to chain one. And again, keep your work nice and, and, and um, fairly loose going on this so that it doesn't bunch up. Your chain one's fine. And then do a single crochet in that same space. And then in the uh, chain one space across here, you are going to do five double crochet. So this is where you need to just keep it nice and loose and don't pull that too tight because it will pull it across. Okay, so just keep it nice and loose. Five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And then in the next space, which is the chain two space, you're going to do a single crochet. And then in the next uh, chain one, you're going to do five double crochet. And then a single crochet, then five double crochet. So single crochet, I know it sounds really weird, but um, do you think you're gonna do five in the chain two? But no, you're doing five double crochet in the chain one and a single crochet in the chain two. All the way around. Um, yes, all the way around. And I will meet you back here to um, finish off this round. Okay, when you've worked that all the way around, it will probably start to curl up a bit. Um, but just uh, find your first single crochet and just join in there with a slip stitch. And there we go. Okay, so we've still got our um, hexagon going on, but it's just a bigger hexagon now. So, round six. I'm just going to sort some yarn out and we will start round six. Okay, so to start this round, we're going to do a chain one. And then we are going to, in the first double crochet, we're going to do a single crochet. And in the next, a half double crochet. The next one, a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. This is similar to a round we did um, earlier down here. Um, so you might remember it. Okay, and then a half double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet into the next stitch. So remember, keep this work nice and loose and then we're going to do a chain one, do a reasonable length chain, skip your single crochet here and do a single crochet in the next stitch and then a half double and then a double, chain two and another double crochet in that same stitch. And then a half double crochet in the next and a single crochet in the next and then a chain one and skip this single crochet and do a single crochet into the next and a half double in the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the next 
half double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to do a chain one and then you're going to work around in exactly the same way and I will see you back around here for fastening off and do your slip stitch and fastening fastening off so you're going to finish with your chain one and then slip it into your first single crochet which is just here so slip stitch into there and then fasten off this color okay now if your um work is bunching in a bit and sort of doming then just give it a stretch don't be afraid to stretch it out just give it a bit of a stretch because if you don't do it now it will be a lot harder to do it once you've finished because you'll have all the border around it so just give it a good good stretch out now don't be worried about it it's fine so just give it a stretch and we're going ready ready for the next round so we are going to join our colour in to the same place that we just fastened off which is here okay so this is where we're going to start squaring this round off now um, so we've joined our colour obviously if you're using the same colour you just carry on from where you are and we are going to chain three and do a double crochet in the same stitch so that's like we've got two double crochets there now then in the next stitch you are going to do a treble crochet so two yarn overs and do a treble chain three and another treble in the same stitch and then in the next stitch two double crochet one two double crochet in the next space which is your chain two space you're going to do um, two half double crochets we are treating our chain spaces as if they are stitches in this um, in this round okay then in uh, the next seven stitches you're going to do seven single crochets so one two three oops three four five six and seven so you were using your chain one space as well there um yeah just in case you hadn't realized that i used my chain one space as well um so seven single crochets and then you're going to do two half double crochets one two I'm going to do this round with you because it can be a bit tricky as to where you're working into so it's two half double crochets into our space and then two double crochets into the next oops into the next stitch into the next stitch two treble crochets one uh, sorry two treble crochets but treble crochet chain three treble crochet sorry guys treble crochet chain three treble crochet two double crochet in the next stitch or space one two two half double crochets in the next stitch half double crochets and then seven single crochets one in each stitch so one two three 
four. Oops, four, five. So just one in that chain space. Six and seven. And then we're going to repeat that again. We're going to do two half double crochets in the next space. One, two. And two double crochet in the next stitch. One, two. Treble crochet in the next stitch. Treble crochet, chain three. And another treble crochet in the same stitch. Two double crochet in the next stitch. Two half double crochet in the next space. And then seven single crochets in the following stitches. So one, two, three, that's one in the space. back to two half double crochets in the next space one two two double crochets in the next stitch in the next stitch a treble crochet chain three and another treble crochet. Two double crochets in the next stitch. Two half double crochets in the next space. And then seven single crochets. One two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and into the next, which is your last stitch, you are going to do two Double, uh, half double crochets one and two and then you're going to join the slip stitch to the top of your chain three and that is round seven which has squared it off quite nicely not quite there yet but looking good Okay, for your eighth round and final round, you are going to do a chain two, which counts as a half double crochet. And then you're literally going to do a half double crochet in every stitch. A half double crochet in every stitch. And you will have along each side, between your corners, there are 17 stitches. So once you've done, um, you've done your half double crochet there, you're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch, and one into the next stitch. Okay, and then your corner, you're going to do five half double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And now you're going to do 17 half double crochets, one in every stitch, and then five half double crochets in your next corner all the way around. Remember, keep your work quite loose, don't you know, try not to get too tight, especially if you normally crochet quite tightly, then try and do it looser. 
Um, so you're going to do half double crochet all the way along and then five in your corners. Simple, simple, simple. And um, hopefully after that round, you should have your square to the size that you need. Um, when you get back around here, join with a slip stitch to your top chain of the two. And I'll see you back around here. And there you go. Finished Ella's chrome wheel. And it is up to size for me, so if it's up to size for you, that's where you can finish. If you need to add another board around, then feel free to do so. Um, just give it a bit of a stretch out if you need to, um, just to make it flatter. Um, and um, obviously blocking will help as well. Um, if you don't know much about blocking, then um, we might have a how-to on that sometime soon. Um, it's when we kind of wet our squares and then we pop them on a board and we pin them down into the shape and size that they need to be and then they kind of hold their shape once they're dry so um anyway that's for another day um but for now if you found this video useful and helpful please click that like button and give us a thumbs up and um the like button, yes, did I say like or subscribe? I don't know, but subscribe anyway if you haven't subscribed and um, get notifications of when new videos are up and the details of the group are in that description below and any comments or questions please leave them below or in the group and um, until next time just keep hooking and don't let your tea get cold.